everybody, it's Alexa and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another 99 cent store product testing. You guys all seem to really like my last one, so I figured I would do another one. If you guys missed my last one, I will have a link to it listed down below. Also, if you guys would like to see more 99 cent store product testing videos on my channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. With all that being said, let's just get started. So the first product I'm going to be testing is going to be a Science for Kids kit. If you guys saw my last 99 cent store product testing, I did a different kit, so I figured I would try and include a Science for Kids kit in each of my 99 cent store product testing videos. This one is Grow Your Own Crystals. Based on the directions, it seems really easy to do. All you do is put them in water. So let's see how these work. According to the directions on the back of the packaging, all you have to do is dissolve the cubes into water and watch them crystallize. They grow in minutes, and you can mix crystal packages together to make different colors. Based on the picture on the outside of the packaging, you would think they would be hard crystals, but they aren't. And this is the transformation of the crystals over a couple hours. And like I said, in the end, they were little jello cubes rather than crystals. So I'm really disappointed in these. If you look at the picture, they look like solid dried out crystals, but they're not. They look like little blue jello cubes. I'm not sure if I did anything wrong. And if I did, I don't know what it was that I did wrong because the directions simply say to dissolve it in water. And that's what I did. And I left it for hours. So that was a fail. Moving on to the next product we will be testing. It is a metal model. And I'm still not exactly sure what this is. I think it's a dog, but I'm not exactly sure. So let's try and put this together. So looking at all the contents in the packaging, there are a lot of pieces and the directions on the back aren't really helpful, but I'm gonna try my best. So as you guys can see, after a couple minutes, I got really frustrated and decided to build this off camera. And this is what I came up with. As you can see, it does not wanna stand up on its own at all. The head bubbles around and won't stay in place. And overall, it was just really frustrating to make. And I don't think I will ever be making one of these metal model kits again. Next, we are going to try this glow sand kit. It looks pretty self-explanatory. All you do is pour the sand in and then it will glow. So let's see how this works. The glow sand seems pretty straightforward and simple. The packaging comes with the container, three different colors of sand, a toothpick, and a funnel. So I'm just going to put the funnel in and start pouring colors. I'm not exactly going with a pattern. I'm just kind of layering the sand. When I got to the end, I was kind of disappointed because in the picture, it shows the sand goes to the top of the container. And as you guys can see, there is still a good one to two inches of space between the top of the container and the sand. Again, it just seems like all the products I picked out are fails or stupid. This didn't glow, and I don't think I'm going to include the clip because you can't see it glowing. I couldn't see it with my own eyes glowing. So again, another fail. Moving on to the next product, we are going to try these balloonies. I used to play with these all the time when I was little. The directions on the back are pretty self-explanatory. First, you unscrew the cap and puncture tube with the pointed tip built into the cap. Second, you slowly squeeze out a ball of plastic and stick on the end of the straw. Third, blow through the other end of the tube to create a bubble, pinched bubble off straw to seal. And then it has a warning, not a gum. Do not chew or swallow. I will keep that in mind. So let's go. I am going to start with the green and like the directions say, I am going to puncture a hole in the top of the tube. So then I'm just going to get a little ball of plastic, put it on the end. And let's see how this works. They got one. So this is the first non-product fail. I will say that it was kind of difficult to actually get a bubble and that it basically just smells like a bunch of chemicals and is disgusting, but it is the first non-product fail. And the last product I'm going to be testing are these twisty balloons. So it does come with directions. So I am going to probably make the easiest one, which is probably the sword. So let's do this. There are no directions other than the pictures. Well, the pump just broke, so we may have some issues here. So that one was a fail. So we are going to try another one. So most of the air just came out while I was blowing it up. Not sure why. So I think I'm going to try and make the dog because it requires a tail. You hold it like this, you make one twist. Then you make another twist, none of which want to stay. So these 
are a fail too because when you try and twist it, it just comes right off. So these twisty balloons were another fail. So those are all the products I will be testing in today's video. Like I said at the beginning, if you guys would like to see more of these on my channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to be notified every Tuesday and Saturday when I upload new videos. Also, be sure to go over and follow me on Instagram to see what I do off camera. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.